The Broncos will travel to Utah State this Saturday and what could be a wild game as the Aggies have shown they've been very unpredictable. Having two straight losses, the Aggies turned it around this past week against UNLV and had over 570 yards of total offense in a 52-28 win against the running Rebels. Utah State also tried out a new quarterback with redshirt freshman Jordan Love who had over 300 yards through the air and two touchdowns. And if you remember, the Aggies were also unpredictable a couple of years ago when they committed, when the Broncos committed seven turnover, first half turnovers and a loss down in Logan. Coach Avalos says the team better be on their toes on Saturday. And they do a good job designing uh, pass plays that complement the run plays and things like that. And when you add that quarterback run number in, into the schematics of things, uh, it makes things, um, makes things difficult. We got to do a great job uh, playing on the edges. We got to do a better job playing on the edges than we did last week. And looking at the quarterback situation, the Broncos will still be rocking a two quarterback offense when they travel to Logan. The duo have grown strong together in the offensive room. They've allowed the team to win their past three contests with their conservative play calling. According to offense coordinator Zach Hill, whatever works to get the win, they'll continue to do it. You know, those guys have different skill sets and we use them in different ways. It's not ideal, but you know, we're, we're again trying to find ways to use Montel and to use his attributes and uh, be able to have both those guys on the field, you know, whether it's at the same time on certain plays or if it's, you know, one or the other. Boise State fans should be happy about this one as a kickoff time for the Broncos matchup with Nevada in three weeks will begin at 5 p.m. on ESPNU. It will be the earliest kick at Albertson Stadium since 2012. The rivalry between Boise State and Nevada spans over four conferences over the past five decades, and the Broncos have won eight straight at home against the Wolfpack. The 5 p.m. game against the Wolfpack will be the fourth home start at 6 p.m. or earlier this season. Also, a couple of updates on some injured Broncos tight end. Jace Blakely is out for the season, having surgery on his ankle. He might be able to apply for a medical redshirt. And defensive lineman Asa Clemente is out for the year with a shoulder surgery. Asa was already redshirting.